Hello, Cancers. This is your love reading for May 2020. Time is fluid in tarot. Whenever you see this is when you're meant to. There is no gender in tarot. I read the energy. So if I say he or she, it could be either one. Also, if this is not your story, don't try and make it fit. Take what resonates and leave the rest. If you are a Cancer and you are thinking of a Pisces while you're watching this, and you think, well, that's not me, that's them. Very well could be. Hop on over to Pisces and do what we call cross-watching. Watch their sign. I pick up on energies, not necessarily specific people. So, hence the role reversals. These cards are already shuffled. I just want to give them a little bit more. All right, let's see what we got for you guys. Cancer, cancer, cancer. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So it looks like you have been kind of looking for answers about an option, a person, a situation. And it could have been something that has ended that was a really painful ending for you. Or even a missed opportunity that you really wish you wouldn't have missed, honestly. Um... With this page of pentacles, a lot of times this page, um, you know, will bring you an apology or, or a small token, something like that. So this person may be coming back around to tell you they're sorry for something that, that they didn't give to you. Or you may have another opportunity with someone that, you know, that you had missed in the past. Um, I'm seeing here that. Maybe you weren't seeing it realistically. You weren't seeing this person realistically or you weren't seeing this person for what they really were, which is neither good nor bad, just is true. Maybe you just didn't didn't see the real them or maybe they weren't showing you who they really were for whatever reasons. But I am seeing that um, at some point you're going to be together. Um, the lovers is can be soulmate energy, but it's also about a choice because we're talking about another person and how we feel. So you're going to make a choice at some point, maybe to get back on board with this person. Um, it's almost going to be feeling like you're going backwards in a sense, because you have some ground kind of to make up, you know, you can't just jump right into what you want. I mean, I guess you could, but hard lever works that way. Um, you're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to plant those seeds and, and be patient and you're going to have to kind of stand your ground because if you try and talk yourself out of this situation or you try and slip back into that pattern of not seeing the truth for whatever reason, it, it isn't going to work. But I do see this person coming towards you. And again, you've got some conflict here with this um, Five of Wands energy. I think that you're going to come out of that conflict because the cycle may very well be ending for you. Please be careful not to hurt someone's feelings because maybe you're upset with yourself because you may run the risk of, of losing this person. So just be kind to this person so that you don't make them feel out in the cold or you don't end up separated from this person. Be fair. Okay. Be just. Um, this person has a lot of love for you. Yeah. See, you've got you've got this this energy where you, you know, you keep keep up with this negativity or this maybe I just keep getting not seeing things for what they really are. There is a reason why this person is doing or saying what they're doing or saying. Please hear them out, okay? They're not keeping secrets from you, okay? The moon is about things that we don't see, things that we don't see all of. And and that's what I'm getting from this this 7 of cups energy too. It it looks like 
you know, you're looking right down at this situation. You're just not seeing it for what it really is. And this person is not doing this to be sneaky or betray you. There's a reason. And I, and I don't know what that reason is. And this could be you too. Okay. This could be you too. But be fair. Okay. Because if you do, if you shine a light on this situation and do your best to see things for what they really are, you're going to gain some new perspective about this person and about this situation. And you know, it's going to work. They have, they'll have a lot of love for you and you guys can get through this. But don't make snap judgments. See, I've got these two cards here together, okay? So think about things for a while before you make a, a judgment, okay? Before you just go into this blindly. There's a reason for this madness. Be patient. Be logical. Don't just... Don't just you know, think, oh, this has me feeling this way. It must mean this. No. Balance that shit out. Balance your emotions and your logic out. Because if you don't, you may very well miss a really great opportunity here for a relationship that could be really great. Because they they, they do want to love you. They do want to love you. They they want to be with you. You know, they've just got some things they've they've got to deal with and they're not hiding anything from you. They're They're not lying to you. They're not stabbing you in the back, okay? They're not stabbing you in the back. That's that your feelings are valid, but they're not doing this to hurt you, whatever this situation is, okay? And I have all signs on the board here. You could have been dealing with any sign, any sign, any sign at all. You know, you you cancers are um, water signs, so everything is very emotional for you. And that's one of the things that's really great about water signs is they're very loving and very compassionate. Just don't. Just don't get overly, overly emotional. How's that? How's that sound to you? Isn't that terrible to say to you? Um, so I hope that helps. Um, check back with me for general readings next month for June. Those will come out the last week in May. And have a great day.